welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure okay look someone wants to be in your energy so 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 bad and this is not what you think it's not what you think they want to be in your energy because it's kind of like a it's kind of like a possessive thing. It's like, it's like this person is possessed. It's like they can't get enough of you. It's like on some stalkerish vibes. It's like on some, they just won't leave you alone. But at the same time, these are the same type of people that when your name come up, they have nothing good to say about you. At the same time, these are the people who are secretly envious of you. And they just want to be in your energy so bad that they're doing anything in their power to get in your energy. Rather than being on your social media, as far as talking to others about you, just to feel some type of connection with you. These people, these are people you may have once been cool with and you no longer are. These are people you may have once been able to have a conversation with and now you no longer are. And they miss that and they want to be in your energy so bad. They want to be in it so bad that they're going extreme miles to just be in it even a little bit. They're going extreme miles to know what it is that you're into, to know what it is that you're doing. They're asking about you. They're talking about you to other people. And a lot of times they're talking in a negative way. They're talking in a negative way, but deep down inside, they look at you as something special. Deep down inside, they look at you as someone that they look up to. They do because, and how do I know this? <laughs> Y'all be asking me like, well, how do you know so much? Look, because they be trying to be like you. They be doing stuff like, just really watch their moves, really watch their actions. They really want to be like you deep down inside, but because they no longer have access to you, now they want to turn you into this bad guy. Now they don't want anyone to like you just like they claim not to like you, but truth is, they can't touch you. Truth is, they can't get anywhere near you. Truth is, they can't call you. Truth is, you would not allow these people into your space anymore. Because they didn't mess up. They didn't mess up. There is someone who wants to be in your energy so, 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 so bad that they'll do whatever it takes to get in your energy. Whatever it takes. They won't stop. It's nonstop. Like they'll go to places just because they know that you are going to be there just so they can see you, just so they can be in your energy, just so they can watch you. They'll be your friend just so they can copy your moves, just so they can steal your personality. Just so they can do things in the ways in which you can do, just so they can be with you firsthand and they can really take notes. There is someone who wants to be in your energy so bad and it's really unhealthy. It's really not good for their health. And it's really aggravating to you because it's like, aren't you the same one who pulled that stuff that you pulled? Aren't you the same one who said what you said? So it's really confusing. It's really conflicting. And now it's starting to make them look mentally unstable. These people are mentally unstable. They want to be in your energy so, so bad. And they'll go any mile. They'll go the extra miles just to do that. They'll do that. They'll show up to where you're at. They'll try to get close with people who are close to you just to find out what you're doing. Just to talk about you. To talk mess about you. <laughs> that's what they be doing they be talking mess about you but they be secretly like admiring you these people really admire you on the low in a really unhealthy way because when your name comes up they have nothing positive to say you would think that they just really didn't like you but deep down inside they love you they love you deep down inside so it just gets really weird it's really confusing and conflicting and you just don't want nothing to do with this person anymore or these people because they have showed their hand. They have played their card. They are just not a good person deep down inside. They aren't the best person. The ways in which they move is not good. It's not how people who claim that they like you should move. So you had to cut this person off. 
you guys parted ways and now they want in they want they want that old thing back <laughs> they want that old thing back with you whatever type of relationship that y'all had whether it was a friendship a romantic relationship a family like um a, an associate they want that old thing back but you're not having it and they know that you're not having it and it's no way in hell that they would even let you know that that's what they want because their actions said otherwise their actions took them on a crazy tandem that they can't take back those words that they said they can't take back those things that they did they can't take it back so now they're trying to sneak and be um they they want to sneak into your energy like they want to they like the door is cracked open and they sitting there watching like they a peeping tom they peeping through your window they peeping through your window and they want to get close to the people that are close to you so that they can get in their ear about you so that no one would like you because they see how much everyone admires you just as much as they admire you on the low. You got someone that want to be in your energy. And they are doing whatever it takes to get in it. They watching your every move. Darn near, they might as well. They might as well be peeping through your window because they're watching you like a hawk and they're studying you like a book. And they're taking notes. And they're copying you. This is why they want to be in your energy because they like who you are and they want to be like you. But they'll never admit that to you. They'll never admit that to you. How you know because of the things that they're doing. You bought that, watch how they, and then they bought that. You said that, and then they said that. You moved like that, and then they moved in a similar way. But it doesn't amount to how you moved or how you did it. They can never do it like you. This is what makes them upset. That no matter how hard they try, they still can't do it like you. They want to be in your energy so bad, they'll do whatever it takes. They'll go wherever they have to go. They'll talk to whoever they have to talk to. They'll befriend whoever they have to befriend. They'll cut off whoever they have to cut off. They'll do whatever it takes. Like They really want to get close to you. They really want to know more about you just so they can be like you. You got someone who wants to be in your energy so bad and it's not what you think because it's not in a healthy way. It's not someone who can admit that they admire you. It's not someone who can admit that they like you. It's not someone who can admit that you are that chick or you are that guy like that you got it made it's not someone like that it's not someone who they would never admit it they don't want you to know they just want to try to be like you and outshine you notice how these people move they want to outshine you they want to one up you they want to take the attention off of you and put it onto them this is the only reason why y'all was ever tight in the first place. Just so they can see up close and personal how you do it. They really want to know how you do it. They just want to steal your moves. They see you. They watching. They want to move like that too. They want to move like that too. But it, it ain't working for them. It just ain't working for them. They want to be in your energy so bad. I don't blame them. Your energy is radiant. It's vibrant. It's felt. Your light shines very, very, very bright. Your glow hit different. <laughs> I don't blame them. Your glow hits different. They, they're hoping that if they get into your energy, maybe it can uplift them. Maybe it can uplift their spirit. Maybe their aura can shine more brighter. Maybe they can become a better person by being in your energy, by associating with you. But no, what happened was they came into your energy, they came into your life, and they brought you down. They brought you down. They tore you down. They showed their ass. And now they are no longer invited into your energy. They are no longer invited into your space. These people can't get a hello from you. They can't get a hi. And this hurt them because they thought that I don't know. <laughs> they thought that maybe things would go in a different way. 
or maybe they didn't. Maybe things went in the way that they thought that they things went in the way that they wanted them to go because they want it to all be a big, big secret on how much they want to be in your energy. So if this video resonate, if it hit different, let me know how so. If you don't have Chime, the mobile banking app, what you waiting on, click that link in my description to get your free $100, okay, for signing up with your direct deposit. If you are new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. That is all I have for this video. Stay spiritually used, stay spiritually in tune, and I will see you all on the next one. Peace.